sure you've all seen this video. I dropped out of college one year ago. This is a video from Kriya Tyler. Kriya Tyler, in a sense, popularized the whole high school dropout scene on social media. If you don't know who Kriya Tyler is, here's a quick recap. Kriya Tyler makes this video, goes viral, has it run as an ad all across YouTube, millions of people see it. At the end of the video, he recruits people to come move to LA, drop what they're doing, and just work with him. Turns out, he was a scammer. Alleged. He was just taking money from people basically and then all of a sudden Kriya Tyler vanished. Stopped posting YouTube videos, stopped doing everything. Nobody talked about him anymore. But now 2018 comes around and here we are talking about him again. About two weeks ago Kriya Tyler posted a video called Kriya Tyler is a scammer where he went about saying the exact same things basically that I just told you. On YouTube like I do, chances are you've probably come across this video of this 19 year old and then he ended it with saying, Right now I feel is the best time for me to start YouTube again. So with that said, I'm about to be releasing a new video every Sunday. And since making that vow to post weekly, he hasn't broken it. Actually, he's posted more often than weekly. And now since being back on YouTube, Creative Tyler is already changing the world. In his first couple of vlogs, he went to Mexico to give of school supplies to children in need I mean which hey that's pretty dope but while he was there he he like left to just go party with a bunch of people and then DJ which was kind of weird but I mean hey it's still cool you're living your life now he's basically stopped this whole trying to recruit people to come work for him shenanigan uh, he lives in a house with a bunch of people now that oddly enough looks exactly like um, uh, rice gums house it's like the exact same layout and everything don't ask me how I know what the fuck Rice Gums house looks like. I watch way too much YouTube. And he seriously just vlogs so far. He hasn't posted much, but from what he's posted so far, he's literally just vlogging. He's not trying to pull any snake shit. He's not trying to recruit people for some business. He just does his thing. And I'm pretty sure now he's he, he does like corporate identity videos and things like that for businesses. He also makes music, I think. But yeah, just in case you were wondering what fucking Korea Tyler was up to <laughs> while he was gone. Probably not. <laughs> now one thing I do have to say about this guy, uh, whatever career path he's chosen, we wanna call it a videographer, whatever his official title is, really good choice for him because his vlogs have such cool edits, the color grading, everything, the pace of it, it's all really, really cool. You should definitely go check out one of his videos. And I'm not trying to take away the fact that he was probably a scammer before. He was probably still an asshole. Man, his videos look pretty fucking cool. I'll tell, I'll tell you that. But obviously, still, he's like one of those, you know, rich kids that likes to flex a lot of shit that they have. While he was in Mexico, he vlogged this spring break party that he went to. It was super nuts and shit. He was like kissing girls and fucking drinking and talking about how much money he spent and shit like that. Which was so cool. So fucking cool. Wish it was me. I wish. I wish it was me. <laughs> kind of gives off like this this vibe that like he's good at everything. At one point he goes and he starts ripping around on a fucking four wheeler like crazy with this girl on the back. He's doing all this shit. Like it just makes it seem like he's just amazing at everything. And I, I know that there's at least one thing that I'm I'm better at than Korea Tyler and that's drinking. All right, don't fucking show yourself partying in a video and act like you're so cool. All right, I'm fucking, I'm better than you, okay? I'm bragging about drinking online, okay? That's how fucking, that's how fucking, you, you want, don't fucking, don't fucking. All right, Korea Tyler, can you do this? No fucking way I got that on the first try. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I knew I was, I, I knew I was gonna get it on the first try. No fucking way. All right, in honor of that shot, I'm gonna have to do another one. I'm gonna do a different one though. All right, cut number two, Korea Tyler. Let's get it. <laughs> I might just, I might just be a beer pong YouTuber. Fuck, this, is this something I should do? Should I pursue this? I'm getting fucking good at this. All right, last one, I promise. This one's going off that wall behind me. Okay, this cup shouldn't be too hard. Like I said. Anyways, all that shit aside, to make a long story short, Kriya Tyler's back and I'd like to know what you guys think. Honestly, I don't I don't I don't know if he's a scammer. He seems like a an okay guy, like not terrible, and everybody makes fucking mistakes now and again. You know, he's back, he's he's out of the whole scamming thing as far as I know, and as far as he's shown us, he's done with the whole scamming thing. But uh, you never know what can come next. Only I can turn a fucking video of Kriya Tyler into a fucking beer pong video. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure 
sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. You never know, maybe I'll be a fucking part of Dude Perfect someday. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. If I quote it, nigga, I wrote it, nigga. Six headshots, I'll erode a nigga. Pop another clip and I'm reloaded, nigga. Ain't no way around it, I'm the coldest, nigga. Do a nigga dirty like to clothe, my nigga. Get you clinked up, then I fold you, nigga. Shout out to the haters who promote a nigga. Flow hot, whip cold, I'm bipolar, nigga. But I don't like to talk about a rover, nigga. Keep